Hi guys, here's E. Today I'm baking another classic torta called Engadina or Bündner Nuss Torta, which originated from Switzerland. It's pretty much a sweet pie with a caramelized nut filling. It fits perfectly with the holiday season like Thanksgiving and Christmas. For the pie crust, we will need 150 grams of cold butter and diced into smaller cubes. 300 grams of regular flour, type 405. 70 grams of powdered sugar, one pack about 8 grams of vanilla sugar, and a pinch of salt. You can also sift all the dry ingredients to remove any flour lumps. Drop in our diced butter, crack one egg, and add only the egg yolk. In the end, we can pour in about 2 to 3 tablespoons of cold water. Mix all ingredients with the kneading hook until combined. Then knead the dough with our hands generously until it's smooth. Form the dough into a round bowl shape and cover it with a plastic foil. Let it rest in the fridge for at least an hour. Meanwhile, we can work on the nut filling. Take 200 grams of walnuts or any other nuts of your choice. Chop them roughly to smaller pieces. I like to leave some of them in whole, they can add crunchiness to the cake. Take a small saucepan, heat up 200 grams of cast sugar on low heat. We are making a caramel here basically. Shake the pan instead of stirring the syrup while heating it up. Once the sugar is completely dissolved, add our chopped walnuts carefully. Toss the nuts around in the pan to coat them with a layer of syrup and roast them for another 2-3 to three minutes. Pour in 150ml of whipped cream and stir it vigorously until the cream turns lightly brown to form the caramel. Add 50 grams of honey for more flavor. Continue cooking it on low heat until all caramel is dissolved into the cream. Then we can set it aside and let it cool. Take a small baking tin, 18 cm diameter large. Grease it with a thin layer of butter. To roll the pie crust, dust a bit of loose flour on the working surface. Take two thirds of our dough and roll it with a roller to about 5 mm thick and as big as our baking tin. Lay our dough gently over to the tin, stretch it to meet the bottom and the side of the tin, and remove any excess part. Poke the dough on the bottom with a fork, just like baking any other pies. Pour in our caramel nut filling into the tin and even out the top surface with our spatula. Fold the top edges back to cover the filling. Roll the rest one third of our dough to about 5 mm and as large as our baking tin. Cover it on top of our nut pie and remove any excess part which is over the tin. Use a fork to press the connecting edges to close up the pie properly. In the end, we can poke a few more holes with a fork on the top of the cake to release the steam when baking. Set our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. We are going to bake it on the middle rack for about an hour. You can also cover it with a piece of aluminium foil to prevent the top cake crust from getting too dark. Remove the cake from the baking tin once it's cool enough to handle. Cool it completely before serving. You can also dust it with a bit of icing sugar in the end. It's the caramel and the roasted nuts, which reminds me the candied nuts sold on Christmas market. Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.